Welcome. My wife, our great first lady, she was a great friend. People loved her. <laughs> People love her. Oh, look at that. Wow. Mercedes, that's pretty good. Now, that quick clip went viral. I'm sure that you saw it because it appeared that Donald Trump forgot the name of his wife, Melania. But pump the brakes. The dude does have brain rot. He is racing towards dementia, but that clip is not actually evidence of it. He's not calling Melania Mercedes. He's calling Mercedes Mercedes, not the car, Mercedes Schlapp, who hosted CPAC. So, it's not about Melania. He almost hmm. certainly remembers Melania's name. And honestly, if he doesn't get off his back, he hasn't seen her in literally months. And he, look, he's in a decades long, absolutely loveless sham marriage. You expect that he's supposed to remember everything like you and I who are in healthy relationships are supposed to. And also, what is he supposed to remember the name of literally every woman he's involved with right now? Get off his back, America. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait. Click join now on YouTube. But in any event, he did not forget Melania's name. Although to be fair, he did forget the names of some of his other family members. Take a look. First of all, my family, Melania, Baron, Don Jr. and Kimberly, Ivanka and Jared, Tiffany and Michael. They're so, so supportive. So supportive of me, and we really appreciate it and love them. They're great. We have a great family. Okay, so I'm going to give him a C plus on remembering who's in his family because he got most of them. He got a lot. You know, like you, you drop an Eric every once in a while. Who's going to sure, remember sure. Eric? He's barely a person. And, uh, you know, he, Laura Trump also wasn't mentioned there, which, you know, that's one thing. It's a big family, but. He did mention Tiffany and he often forgets her. So that's gotta hurt Eric, especially. He literally runs the dude's business. And he also mentioned Jared, but forgot his own son. So that's gonna sting a little bit for Eric. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, he did Francesca? the spouses on top of that. But look, <laughs> one of them's gotta go every time. I just, you know, it's it's a blind thing. I just pick a little name out of the hat and I'm gonna forget you, Eric, for the next few months. What's crazy about that though is Lara Trump's been in the news more and Lara Trump's more prominent because she will likely be the next mm -hmm. chair of the RNC. He's gonna need the RNC's money, the fundraising capacity, all of that. That. So it's not a great time to forget Laura <laughs> Trump unless he's, I don't know, maybe he's pissed at them for something. Who, I don't yeah. know. I think he just forgot he does actually have brain rot uh, and he's an old man. And at like Hut D, I, Stephen Colbert's impression of Eric Trump is actually his best impression. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's great. I have, I have. It's so good. But anyway, um, look, the, the reason you might think, well, why are you covering this? That's not what the brain rot report is supposed to be, but it's, but it's actual brain rot. And we'll get to that later in the week. But like I have I often not said I hate when people get something wrong or allowed themselves to be duped by something that's a little bit too appealing and then they don't cop to it when it happens. Well, like let's let's be willing to admit it, it seemed like he had gotten her name wrong. It, it fooled me at first, but that's not actually what it is. And so we should be willing to admit when it's not. I, I hate when people refuse to admit that stuff. Like there's there's a Twitter account which I won't name. It was like a you know standard like go Biden go whatever and like for some reason he's got like Blue a Maga. million followers. I'm not gonna say who it is, but um yeah his tweet Doesn't about see. the Melania no it's not uh they're they're Elon Musk stands now uh his tweet about the Melania Mercedes thing is still up with tons of support he's not backing off of it like I, I don't I just don't understand people like that so anyway we should be willing to admit when we're wrong Donald Trump does still have dementia but that was not evidence of it. 